Hello everyone, it's me, BSC Impulse, and I'm bringing you a video on Black Ops 2. This is going to be my very, very last video on Black Ops 2. And I thought, you know, just tell you what uh, my year on Black Ops 2 was like, and, you know, and what I thought of the game. Uh, well, I can say in quite one word that the game was shit. It started off good, but then turned shit when the, all the little crap was starting to happen. But so, uh, let's not get into that. As you know, when I fit, uh, fit in the beginning of the year, I start off with a Road to Commander series. Uh, you knew if you had followed that, you know that I had a rather very bad internet connection for at least about a month, which put my gameplays well behind. Because I could, at one point, I couldn't even play for two weeks because I had no internet connection. It just wouldn't connect me to anything. However, once they uh, came back on and they sorted on, I was able to complete my uh, Road Commander, with, especially with the help of Blues and Twos and uh, BFC Fierce and some uh, other members of the BSC, I was able to uh, get uh, my series done quicker than I expected. Uh, I did happen to have a pretty damn good win-loss, did have a pretty good uh, KD, it was, it was all right, it was in the positive, both were positive, it's just my uh, score per minute wasn't that pretty high, but at the end of the day, I'm not a, I'm not a slayer, I don't go around trying to kill people, because I'm not, I'm not that good at slaying, but I am an objective player, and I play the objective. Uh, I do like team deathmatch and I do like free for all and search and destroy and that, but uh, you know, that's me. Right then, uh, let's talk about Black Ops and the whole year. Um, let's start off with guns. To be honest, I quite like a lot of those guns. I thought they were fantastic. You know, they were brilliant. You know, there was no, you know, uh, was it one overpowered gun in one class, one overpowered in the other class. Every single gun had a balance, you know, there was that you know, you you could do if you were a pretty good player, you could do damage whatever gun you have, right? However, then you talk about attachments, certain attachments were good, certain attachments I thought were bloody useless and crap and I you know, Taggy Finder. You know, that just made a person who was shit even better. The Taggy Finder was supposed to uh, point out somebody who uh, wasn't cold blooded on the map, right? So why would the hell point you as before you even come out of the door, it would show you up on this target? Why? Why would it do that? Because it can't see you until you leave the building. So how can it detect you? I thought that was a little bit weird. But, you know, it just made people uh, better than they were. Uh, the, uh, the MMS uh, attachment, which has allowed you to see through walls, I honestly thought, you know, yeah, it's a good idea, but why would you give them that attachment and take away FMJ? Yes, you couldn't use FMJ with that. So at the end of the day, that would mean you had to go physically get into that building and kill the person. You know, you may be concentrating on one person. You may not have realised that the, the, it might have detected another person and you didn't spot it because you were too busy concentrating on that one person. So you would have got killed. Oh. You know, it's just things like that. Uh, you also had, you know, uh, snipers. You know, straight from day one, uh, assault rifles, uh, submachine guns, uh, light machine guns, they all started to be patched, except for the sniper. The sniper only got one patch out of the whole 12 months, and the sniping community went up in arms. We had a fucking bloody month upon month upon month upon month of all the other guns being bloody uh, patched. But the snipers were never ever getting patched. It was always one kill on that crap. And I just don't understand why Treyarch decided to give snipers a free reign in the game when they never did it on uh, Black Ops 1. People loved Black Ops 1. I know the snipers didn't. But to be honest, I tell you, there were some really good snipers on Black Ops 1. They're the ones Turner said, yes, it's made me a better sniper because the way it was, you know, it was difficult to quick scope and you had to learn how to do it. And he said, by doing that, it made them a better quick scoper on Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, you know, and then they brought it along to Black Ops 2. But they were hoping for Black Ops 2 to do something else to make the quick scoping slightly more different uh, so that they could uh, do a little bit more. But no, it didn't. It made it as if it was Modern Warfare 3. And they said that they made the sniping so easy, even somebody who's just played the game could snipe somebody. So I uh, like, give him a quick stop once in a while. And I thought it was bloody annoying, so I didn't do it. Uh, then you had uh, the uh, new. Well, was, no, then you started having this uh, little uh, glitches, you know, the ones where you had the riot shield glitch, where 
if you were playing the game Search and Destroy, because I used to play Search and Destroy, where your teammates decided to put a riot shield down, and as long as you did it within a 10 second time limit, you could change. If you've got two right shield classes, you could change and put another right shield down. So, I, I must admit, I did one game where it's six to you in the team, I, and I turned around to find, I run back to spawn, to find there were 15 right shields all lined up in spawn. My teammate were camping in spawn, waiting for players to come in. And I thought, what the hell is going on here? I was annoyed. Uh, luckily, they patched that. It was, I was also quite annoyed that they did, I mean, you knew it was going to happen, there's always going to be some person who's able to hack a uh, prestige lobby. But no, it wasn't a prestige lobby, it was a prestige video. You only had to do is watch a cup, uh, go in, watch a few seconds, leave, prestige, go back in and watch it again, leave, prestige, and you constantly do that uh, thing, and you'd be uh, a uh, prestige master before you know it, you know, fantastic, brilliant guys. Uh, it's just... Oh, that was completely bollocks. Then you had the boosters. Myself, Blues and Twos, and Tank Shank are the first people to cap capture boosters in our game. We were playing a game of hard point on drone, and it turned out we had a boosters, in, a boosters in the game. We didn't realise until the end when I said, how the hell is that block of 70 odd kills? However, at the time, Theatre Mode was playing now, and we were only able to record the first, I think, three to five minutes of the game, which I uploaded as a video. Blues and Twos uploaded the video. I was quite surprised that Blues and Twos never had that many views, which is scary. I, I've now had over, oh, almost 8,000 views on that one video. It was just really strange that I, I've got views on it, but Blues didn't, and they both did exactly the same video, and, <coughs> sorry about that, exactly the same video Blues was talking about in his uh, words, and I was talking in my words. We were just getting the information out there, and showing you who the booster was, and, you know, all I had kept having back was, well, it's a free country, they can do whatever they want to. And I said, and, and I said yeah, but at the end of the day, uh, don't they have... I mean, it's just virtually the people's opinions say, no, yeah, they can do it, as long as they don't do it in my game. <laughs> That's not the answer. You know you every time you can have a booster, it's going to be in one of your games eventually. So why not nip it, on the, nip it in the bud? But no, they didn't like it. Uh, so yeah, it was just annoying. Then we had... Uh, the uh, what we say the glitches. Uh, let's talk about the trophy system glitch. The trophy system glitch, which I also put on a video. I have never ever seen it before, and that was the first time and the last time I've ever seen it. It's quite simple. Uh, a team person uh, went and found his friend, hacked his uh, trophy system. Then uh, his friend then destroys it. Then puts another one down. He hacks it again. His friend destroys it, and then. After that, all he has to do, his friend, all he has to do is chuck a, uh, a stun out, grenade out, uh, uh, chuck out, I think, and it would class, it would just explode in front of me, and it would class as a uh, equipment destruction. And the block was literally boosted. He went through all his kill streaks. He, he had a high kill streak. He got to, uh, was it a, I think it was a stealth chopper, then went into a, a, a warthog. And then went into VTL uh, warship, and he constant. Once that happened, he constantly got that all through the game. And all he did, what did was lie in one place on the map. And I thought that was disgusting. You know, uh, it was not. I do honestly, I don't think anything was ever done about it. However, it was difficult to get that glitch to work, uh, most times. But I had never seen one before, and I haven't seen it since, to be honest. Uh, I will tell you, in Black Ops One, we did have a game where one of the enemy was invisible. Uh, I did go in and check on theatre mode, and the party in theatre mode doesn't show the uh, invisible part. He shows up as if he was laying on the bomb. But I remember playing it because three of us said, Where the hell did he shoot us from? Where is he? Where is he? We couldn't see it. All we could see was bullets flying from where he was lying, but he wasn't there. It was just bullets. A gun shooting bullets, no other person. And, you know, so he was using an invisibility hack. Uh, that's, you know shows how much people are prepared to do just to win a game. He's also uh, used the prestige hack because he's prestige 15 in uh, Black Ops 1 and he's only played a couple of days. His win loss is shit, his uh, KD is shit, yet he is you know, uh, a 15th prestige. Ah, bollocks. 
So, we've done guns, we've done the hacks, you know. Let's talk about connection now. You know, you could have a four bar connection in this game and it would feel like you were playing on a three bar, maybe two bar, maybe a one bar. You would have constant lag. Horse migration, you know. It, to be honest, it always seemed to give the horse to somebody who had the worst connection. Did you notice that? Uh, I had, I must admit, I've had horse in this game quite a few times now. And to be horsed doesn't pay, it penalises you. Only twice, I think, I've had the horse where it did pay for me. And one of them was where I almost had a nuclear. I will say that. I almost had the nuclear. I was just uh, k two kills off the nuclear when I died, which wasn't that bad. I well over 40 kills and around about three deaths, I think, it was at the end of the game. I was absolutely hammering the opposition, like the kill confirmed match. Um, but being a horse would penalise you. Everyone else would have the lag conversation on their side. And it just didn't seem to work for you. You would start, uh, start firing first and you'd be dead. As I said, this is the only game I know where if you pre-fire, you're the first one to die. It's really strange. It is an absolutely strange game. Uh, hit detection was well out. I mean, you, can't, you couldn't knock it. You know, it's completely out. The only time you had a good game... I found every time I had a good game was when I was on the two bar. That was really weird. Every time I was on the two bar, my hit detection was perfect. I just couldn't figure it out. Also, you had uh, people using uh, certain attachments on the gun, guns. You had a primary weapon, which allowed you to have three attachments. And you had to put a certain attachment in a certain spot on, the, in, on those three attachments. And it would make the gun no recoil. I mean, literally no recoil. And it was designed... Uh, it was also like they also made... You know, that pissed a lot of people off. They also did grip. Grip was useless. It didn't do anything. And they had the whole year in which to sort out. They never did. So, you know, that's another thing. You know, why would you do that? Uh, map packs. They brought out some map packs. Every map pack had a, one of the old maps in it. What's the point? Everyone wanted fresh, fresh new maps, fresh new ideas, fresh new way to play. What did they get? A map, which you've already played before. Why would you do that? You know, so I've, uh, it's just so honestly, I thought, you know, Black Ops 2, Star for well, and then turned out to be one of the shittiest games in, in uh, that year. And I don't know how the hell it got a Golden Stick Award. Right then, the game is just about to come to end, everyone. So please let me know what, what you hated about the game as much as uh, in Black Ops 2. But until next time, it's me, Will, sign off. Bye.